Okay, so we're going to go through shape hints in Flash. Um, shape hints, they revolve around using one bare bones drawing. So it could be a stroke or a fill and morphing that into another drawing. The drawings have to be completely uh, broken apart. So they're not grouped, they're not a text object, they're not a symbol from the library. They're just a bare bones filled shape that you've selected. So I'm just gonna draw something. Come forward a bunch of frames and insert another blank keyframe. So you can use shape tweens to create all of the bridging animation. You just give the computer enough information that it doesn't have to uh, to think about it and it'll do everything. It'll create the rest of the animation. So we select in between the two frames Tween comes up down here and we say shape. Now let's have a look at what the computer's done with this. So that's a dog's breakfast. And the reason for that is that this bit has an opening here and this bit's completely closed. What that means, it doesn't sound like much, but you've got one, two, three, four shapes here. You come back to the start and you've got one, because that's not closed up, to three shapes. So they don't correspond, and mathematically it can't deal with it. So we close that up, and the whole thing works perfectly. Uh, shape tweens not often used in industry, or not up to this point anyway, mainly because they're, they're unpredictable, uh, and they can be more trouble than they're worth, troubleshooting and going through and fixing them. But in the new version of Flash, they seem to be really user-friendly, they work quite well. So we've got that one, we'll draw another eye. Just gotta make sure your shapes correspond and things should be okay. So you can see there, we've got one that messed up. It's got a facility to add what's called shape hints, things that guide from one point in the object to another point in the next object. So we'll just add a few of those. So it's modify, shape, add shape hint, or Apple Shift H. So there's an A, put that there. So it's a hint from that corner, and then we put it to the corresponding corner on the next drawing. And that was pretty much enough to fix it. I might want to add another one into here. Apple Shift H. B goes there. And you see how they're red until they're in the correct position. And then when it thinks it's logically working, and that doesn't mean they're necessarily working working, it just means that the computer can perform the function of using those as a hint. you end up with something that guides your animation. So it used to be that these things were so unwieldy and using shape hints wasn't a guarantee of things being fixed because see how I've just moved this object? Oh, your shape hints disappear regularly too. Go to view, show shape hints. They've moved with the shape. That's only started happening with this new version of Flash. In the older versions, you would create a perfect little piece of animation and then you'd realize you want to move it um, you know, six centimeters over to the right and the shape hints wouldn't come with it. They would still be here and here and you would have to replot all of those shape hints, which isn't a big deal here, we've only got two, but when you're doing something more complex, you may have, you know, 20 shape hints and moving those can be a real curse. Uh, doesn't matter anymore, so you don't have to worry about it, which is great. See, that morph is still working perfectly. 
So view, show shape hints, they're there, cool. Just drag that back. And we'll throw some other stuff in. So one way around all those problems in the past was to create new layers for different objects. See that one's flipping. So we just added shape hints. They still disappear and, and show very regularly, which is a problem. You select one area, chuck them in place, and that's probably going to need another one. <laughs> Maybe I could try repositioning it. Okay, chuck another one in on the other end of the nose. And these are, you know, simple logical shapes, so it doesn't necessarily work when you're doing more complex animation. It's more for simple stuff, simple line animation. If I wanted to fill these objects, well, let's see, four shape hints, just for one simple line. So there we go. And it's still flipping. So, uh, not the be all and end all, as you can see. How's that? Oh, still flipping. Damn you! Oh well, so might be worth just deleting a shape and putting a new shape in when that happens. Um, like I say, I don't use them much. They can be quite good. They worked so well on those eyes, but then the nose, not so much. So, I don't know, take it with a grain of salt. What you can do sometimes is when you've got them working, I'm just going to delete the nose because it's terrible. I'll draw a new one. What you can do when you've got it working, if you're not confident, well, this is what I always used to do because I was consistently not confident that they were going to work or uh, that they would change later in the animation. Say if I wanted to move that eye over, the shape hints wouldn't follow it. What I would do is select all of the frames, convert them to keyframes, and then I can remove change tween to none and then I've got keyframe by keyframe animation I can then color it and just work my way through the animation frame by frame so that shape is in a nutshell <laughs> so I don't know, it's something you could have a play with. See what see what you think of it. Okay? Excuse